<laughs> Hello, beloved church family. Wednesday evening worship service. Sad. We can't come together tonight, unfortunately, due to the weather. Praise God. And many of you have got the, the notice. And um, I pray you do. Praise God. Um, so Holy Spirit led me to just come here to do, uh, to do the worship service uh, so that we have at least a, a worship service sermon. Amen. Um, praise God. And you feel led uh, to, to join in and everything. At least it will be recorded. And um, we still have something that we can, you know, either go on Facebook or on YouTube together. Amen. Praise God. Y'all be safe out there. Praise God. Be safe. Amen. Um, our worship service this evening is titled, Awaiting for the King. Hallelujah. Awaiting for the King. Amen. Uh, when I was working on this today and, and, and after my devotional with the Lord, uh, we were just talking about all these different things as far as what's happening in the world today. You know, um, everything that's Holy, Holy Spirit's teaching us that as, uh, as you know, it's just been really deep and intimate as far as in, in how God is preparing His church. And um, I want to share this with you because my beloved wife, Trish, she, uh, she bought me something on Amazon. And uh, I was awaiting a package today. So, you know, in the middle of, you know, just working and running errands and doing stuff, in the middle of doing that, in, in, in the back of my mind is... I'm going, to get a, I'm going to get a package today, right? And uh, I was awaiting that. And um, hallelujah, it's just so sweet of Holy Spirit in how he said, as you're waiting for a physical blessing from my beloved daughter, I want to bless you with this message to bless my church as far as how we are awaiting for the king, amen? For his return, for that glorious rapture. Praise God. So in this message tonight, hallelujah, and, and thank you so much for, for joining in, amen. Uh, the reason why we're not doing Facebook Live is because um, I received word just like you did, and praise God, bless our elders, amen. Pray for our elders. They, you know, they, they're put on the spot many, many, many times, and by the grace of God in their relationship, in their worship life, in their anointing, hallelujah, they take it serious, and, and we, we, we can all bless God where we're at, amen? Whether you're at work or in the vehicle or at home, hallelujah, Holy Spirit is in here. Praise God. And yes, it, it, means, it means everything to God when we sacrifice our time and come together because God says come together. But in moments like this, we use wisdom, amen? Pray for me, of course. I'm, I'm here because Holy Spirit said do the message. But I'm just saying that let's be submissive and just, and, and just be thankful, amen, that we're that we have accountability, that we have, you know, a, le a leadership team that's one, unified in Holy Spirit. And all we aim to do is to glorify Lord Jesus Christ and to bless God's peace. Amen? Our Father's peace. Hallelujah. So we're going to be in these, uh, in these three scriptures. We're going to be in John 19, 30. And, and once again, this is something that's uh, overflowing from Sunday morning worship service as far as being validated. Amen? And... Um, when you truly think about it in John 19, 30, I mean, all messages, all, all, all messages, can you say it with me? Every message, every message is, is, is surrounding, is, is founded on that. And we're going to get into that. And then we're going to be in the book of Revelation in chapter 19, verse 7. And we're going we're to approach this the way Holy Spirit wants it, is that we're going to read the second part of verse 7 and go back to the first part. And then in closing, just like on Sunday, we're going to close based on what Lord Jesus Christ said. Amen. And that's going to be in John chapter 5. Um, before we start, as always, let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Father God, that you love us and that Lord Jesus Christ, you showed us agape. You are agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that we can say your name. We could thank your name. We can just bless you by just being thankful. And Holy Spirit, in your anointing, in your presence, oh, hallelujah, Father. All we want is your presence. Open Arms Community Church Fire, that's all we want is your presence, Holy Spirit. All we want to do is come together to worship you, to be thankful, Father God, and to allow you, allow your goodness, allow your presence, Holy Spirit, to flow through us. So, Heavenly Father, I just, I just lift up all this right now, this, this entire world, I lift up. Uh, the weather, Father God, I thank you right now for holding it back so that we can do this worship service. And it's all for your glory, Lord Jesus, to have it recorded. 
and to have it later on this evening, an hour and a half from now, uh, as, far as, as far as for your beloved church and for an, anyone who has ears to hear. And Father, we may not even be here an hour and a half from now. Praise God, you may be coming in the next half an hour. And Father, we're just so excited because we know it's soon. So Father, bless this worship service. Bless every soul, Father God, that is joining Holy Spirit right now. We're, we're just one in you regardless of time. And Father, just bless us with your presence. Change me, O oh Lord, that as you speak to us and teach us, because you're the only teacher, change me. Change me, Father God. Rebuke my pride. I don't ever want to be the same, Father God. I just want you flowing through my life, flowing through our church, Father God, Open Arms Community Church, flowing through our families, our, 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 our workplace, everything, Father God, in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Let's get started. Hallelujah. Awaiting the King. Amen. And praise God, as you guys know, we covered this on Sunday in John 19, 30. And this is when Lord Jesus Christ received the drink, the sour wine. And then he said, it is finished. Amen. Say that with me, it is finished. And he gave up his spirit. We know that that, is, that, that means paid in full. It is finished, paid in full. And then what, we, what, we, what Holy Spirit taught us in Greek is that word that Lord Jesus Christ uttered is tetelestai. And then we, we understand the importance of this word because as we recall in what Holy Spirit taught, everything, everything that was paid in full, everything that was completed was stamped tetelestai, right? And here God Almighty is saying it's finished, done, validated, hallelujah, paid in full. Amen, glory to God. Let's just give God praise on that. Say it with me, I am paid in full. Hallelujah, I am paid in full. And praise God, when we know this, now we get into this new word. And Holy Spirit allowed, allowed me to, to mention it on Sunday. But he said on Sunday, don't talk about it. This is for, and praise God, now we know. Say it with me, kala. Say it again, kala. And this is in Hebrew. Now, before we get into this word kala, amen, we have to talk about homonyms. Can you say it with me? Homonym. Homonyms. Whew, that's a tough one, right? Here's an example of a hominid. Hominid. <laughs> Here's an example of a hominid. This word pen, right? Pen. See, this word pen, spelled P-E-N, believe it or not, has two different meanings. It's a pen, as you can see that come up on, this, on the screen, right? It's a pen, but then it can also mean, right, a pig pen. That's a hominid. That, that, that is... That is the same word, spelled exactly the same, but yet there's two different meanings, amen? The first meaning is a pen, like a writing instrument, amen? And then the second one is a pig pen, right? A pen to keep, you know, a pen. Or it could be a play pen, right? But you understand the, the point. And in this case, kala, say it with me, kala, it means fulfilled, completed. That's the first meaning, fulfilled, completed, the second meaning is bride. Hallelujah. Can you say that with me? Bride. Now remember the worship service this evening is awaiting the king. Hallelujah. Awaiting. Don't you love that awaiting like preparation? Amen. Have you ever purchased like furniture, right? New furniture in the house? Hallelujah. Glory to God, right? Brand new leather furniture, like a theater set or whatever. Hallelujah. Let's not limit God, right? Just, well, what happens if you know that your leather sectional or, you know, or, or, or whatever it is is coming and you don't prepare, you don't make room, right? And God forbid that the weather's like this and, you know, they're going to come and go, we got no place to put it, right? We, there's no room. We got no place to put it, so we're going to leave it outside. I rebuke that, right? It, this is what I love about awaiting, right? This is what I love about preparing, is that what are we doing right, in Jesus' name, to prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen, for his return. I love this because simply put, when you talk about kala, amen, fulfilled, complete, and bride, this is what Holy Spirit showed us. The fulfillment, the completion is what Lord Jesus Christ said, it is finished, amen. And bride means, hallelujah, his return. The groom is coming back 
for his bride. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise for that. Amen. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, and it gets gooder and gooder, beloved church family. It gets gooder and gooder because here we are. We're just in this one word with this two meaning. Amen. Now, remember, we talked about Greek and tetelestai. Now we're in Hebrew in kala. And you see what Lord Jesus Christ, what God said right there about your validation in him. Amen. About God validating who you are as his beloved child. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's get into this. We're in Revelation chapter 19, and this is the second part of verse 7. Okay? We're going to go back to the first part in closing. The second part of, of verse 7 in chapter 19, Revelation. For the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride, hallelujah, his bride, now that word is kala, right? His bride has made herself ready. Amen. And glory to God, Brother Charlie, he, he preached, it's all Holy Spirit. Amen. We're just a mouthpiece, praise God. But he was the one that said it. Are you ready? Right? Are you ready, church? Are you ready? Right? What are we doing to be ready? Right? What are we doing to prepare? What are we doing? Amen. And that's so exciting as far as, especially moments like this. I know that this is a recording. Hallelujah. But I don't limit God to recording. Because I know that my father, Agape, Agape goes before me, amen, and I know that when you're listening to this, and we're worshiping a good and perfect father, we're giving all the glory to Lord Jesus Christ, we're blessing his Holy Spirit who is in us, amen, and we're asking God, God, I want to be prepared, I want to be ready. I don't want to tell you, you tell me, right? Isn't that amazing in that relationship with God as a beloved child? That it's no longer about me telling you, God. You tell me what I need to do to get ready. Because it's easy for us to say, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, Jesus Christ is my Lord. Yes, I try to be a good person. Yes, I try to do this. I try to do this. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, let's go past that. Amen? Let's go past that. And in worship, Holy Spirit, bless me with your anointing, your presence. And Father, I want to hear from you what needs to be done to be ready. Amen? And glory to God, I believe, I declare it over, over my life, over your life, over our church. Amen? That as we bless Holy Spirit's presence and we allow God to be God in every area of our life, your life is going to be beyond what you can comprehend or contain. The blessings of the Lord because it's all His presence. Amen? See, we don't chase after blessings right? We don't. We rebuke that. Because remember, the devil loves to tempt. And what are in those temptations? Temptations masked as blessings. God wants us to just chase after agape, relationship, amen, and allow his anointing to flow, amen? Glory to God. Let's just give God praise, amen? Say it with me, change me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, change me, Holy Spirit. So when we say kala, everything from John 19, 30 comes alive, doesn't it? Praise God, that when Lord Jesus Christ says, it is finished, can you, can, 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 those three words, right? But could you imagine as far as just, just the magnitude, and we're not even barely even touching or scratching the surface. Holy Spirit is the one that teaches us, and he's the one that gives us life, heart conviction, right? Renewing the minds. He's the only one that can teach this, not Pastor John, myself, Charlie. No, no, rebuke that, Amen. We're brothers and sisters, and all we do is worship a good and perfect Father, and in His presence, through His gifts, He teaches us. Amen? And listen to what Holy Spirit's teaching as far as the magnitude in the validation that took place on the cross when our beloved Lord and Savior, the perfect Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, laid it down. And the words that He uttered when He said, It is finished, just making sure that we understand that I take, this is what God is saying, I take all of you and I give you all of me. There is no halfway. Amen? There's no halfway. You, you, don't, you can't do it halfway, right? Remember, we discussed this years ago, that if you're not crucified in Christ, then you're just sick. Right? You're just sick, trying to get better. But the only way to get better, it has to die. Amen? Say it with me. It has to die. See, glory to God, I'm surrounded by brothers and sisters in Christ. We died already. 
Amen? We already died. Hallelujah. And glory to God because I am crucified in Christ. Galatians 2.20, right? Because I am crucified in Christ, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen? Oh, I miss you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. Miss you guys so much. Hallelujah. Paid in full. Say it with me. Paid in full. I love these three words. Paid in full. Just says everything, doesn't it? Amen? It just shows you the cost, the price that was paid of what the Father did. And he gave his only begotten son. Amen? Paid. Paid. That's what the Father did. He paid it. Amen? That's what the Father did. Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's what the Father did. He paid it, right? In. In Christ. Amen? We have to be in Christ. We just said it. Crucified in Christ. Full. Full of his glory. Amen? Full of his doxa, right? That's another Greek word. Doxa, right? View and opinion. Full of his glory. That his Holy Spirit now resides in me. And it's not my holiness. It's not my righteousness. Rebuke that. That's from the pit of hell. It's my Lord Jesus Christ who owns me. It's my Holy Spirit, my God, that lives in me and dwells in me. That he takes complete control over this body. Amen? Mind. Hallelujah. Soul, right? Spirit. Amen? Heart. Body. Amen? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Kala. Telestai. Kala. Two words. Amen? Isn't that amazing? Just these two words and it said all that. But then, of course, that leads us to the first part of Revelation. And I love this picture. We see it all the time, right, of our glorified Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Word of God. Amen? Isn't it beautiful? In our human minds, in our human thinking, in our own limitations, in this world, on this fallen world, in this fallen, right, in this fall, I, I can't stress this enough. We, we, we want to try to say all these words, even right now as I preach to you, amen, and just trying to be obedient to what Holy Spirit has for us in His anointing, in His presence, we have these words to communicate, right? And we have this word, sometimes we tie it in with emotion, and, and it emphasizes the word to be even more deep, right? To, to, you know, we even have symbols for words, exclamation mark, right? Or a comma, or a period, right? Or maybe a question mark, right? All these words, words, words. But glory to God, at the end of the day, for all of eternity, this is the only word. Hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. You beat me to it, Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's, let's tie this all together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Revelation 19, 7, this is the first part. Some of you may, you may not be able to see this, and I apologize for that. But what you see there, those three little green things, lettuce. <laughs> That's lettuce. <laughs> now remember the lettuce message, right? Let us, right? Let us, right? Now who is us? Amen. Who is us? Now we know as agape. Amen. Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And this is how we're going to get into this. Praise God. We know in our being, right, as we say Father, Son, Holy Spirit, agape, right, that is soul, spirit, body. Amen. Say it with me. I am an eternal soul. Amen. I am. Holy Spirit, overflowing, amen, anointed. And say with me, I am a member of the body of Christ, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Now let's get into this. Let us rejoice. If we're mindful continuously of how much the Father loves us, we rejoice in all situations and circumstances because we know God is our Father. He's God Almighty. There's no reason... To, to, to worry, there's no, there's no reason to stress or have anxiety. We rejoice just thinking of the fact that God sent Lord Jesus Christ for us. Amen? I love this next part. Be glad. Amen? Be glad. When we're mindful of our Father. Amen? When we're mindful of Lord Jesus Christ. Immediately, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, immediately. Say it with me, immediately. Immediately, Holy Spirit in us. It's what we call anointing, power, resurrection power, amen? Light, that's his presence, amen? That's all we want, praise God, that's all I want. Holy Spirit's light in our hearts, just, oh my goodness, like high beams, right? Like a floodlight, right? When, we're, when, 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 we, when we choose to rejoice and be thoughtful, mindful 
of what Father God did so that we can have this relationship with him in what Lord Jesus Christ did, even before he came to this earth, right? And what he did on that cross, right? What he did in hell for us. Hallelujah. Now we know that, oh my goodness, Lord, forgive me. Oh, I'm so thankful. I rejoice, Father God, that you are on my side. I rejoice, Father God, that I'm your beloved child. I rejoice, Father God, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rejoice, Father God, that I am the head and not the tail. I rejoice, Father God, that I am blessed coming and blessed going. Hallelujah. I am blessed, Father God, because by your stripes, I rejoice, Father God, because by your stripes, I am healed. I rejoice, Father God, that I am eternally covered by your blood. What happens? Your situation, your circumstance becomes bleh, right? Right? And the glory of God is that right when I said it, I could just hear all the rain just coming over God's beloved building. Praise God. And so we keep this in mind now, right? That we're, we rejoice being thoughtful. And what happens? God says, be glad. You know what I love about this, be glad? Is that you have to be it. Amen? You have to be it. Hallelujah. You have to be glad. We don't need, we don't need situations, circumstances to make us glad. We, our very existence is, hallelujah, glad, happy, amen? And I love this because in your heart, when this manifests, we know that we are the body of Lord Jesus Christ. And this is how we give him glory, amen? Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, amen? For the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. Say it with me, awaiting for the King. Amen. We are awaiting for the King. So in closing, as we discussed earlier, and what Holy Spirit taught us this past Sunday, which I personally am still in awe of. Amen. Always. Right now, I'm just in awe. Praise God. Jesus said, get up. Say it with me. Get up. Pick up your mat and walk. The next verse in verse 9, John chapter 5, at once the man was cured. He then picked up his mat and then walked. And glory to God, notice the healing, the true healing that took place in what God calls healing. It's in the repentance. Amen. It's in the repentance of the mind. No longer am I going to have victim mentality. No longer am I going to keep blaming everybody else for the condition I'm in. No longer am I going to glorify my shortcomings, right? All, it's all about my, 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 right? Rebuke that. Forget about Joey. Amen. Forget about Joey. It's all about Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And glory to God, when, when I come to that realization that it's not, a, it's, not about, it's not about me at all. It's all about you, Lord, and I'm sorry. Forgive me. I allowed this thing to affect my attitude, my character. I allowed this thing to make me get religious with you. I choose to break myself. Amen? Say that with me. Break yourself. Right? We, we have to put a check. Right? We... We have to come to terms as far as it's all about you, Lord Jesus Christ. Because remember, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, amen, whether it's this next half an hour, amen, skies open, the trumpet sounds, hallelujah, we're raptured out of here. Or it's going to be that day when, who knows, right? But you will be standing. I will be standing before Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm just in awe, amen, of agape. Hallelujah. I know you are too, beloved church family. Praise God. I just love this picture that God blessed us with. Went from invalid to validated, amen. And that just, that just reinforces as far as what Lord Jesus Christ said and how Holy Spirit is teaching us. Praise God. Amen. Say it again with me. Get up. Hallelujah. Get up. See, there's, there's some youth. Amen. There's some youth right now. That the enemy, social media, friends, right? Trying to be popular, trying to be hip, trying to find their identity in all these different things, right? Boys, girls, right? I mean, in all this chaos, right now, God is saying, get up. Amen? Get up. Which means, get rid of all that stuff, right? Get rid of the mat, right? Get rid of that mat that you're sitting on, and all it does is it brings condemnation. It brings 
judgment. It brings insecurities, anxiety. Get off that mat. And that's why God is saying, get up, amen? Get up, beloved child of God. Get up, right? My beloved, get up, right? You can hear God saying, I died for you. You know what I went through. Get up, I live in you, amen? Get up, I breathe in you. Get up, my light is shining through you, amen? Get up, amen, in Jesus' name. In closing, this is, the, this, this is just... Lord Jesus Christ had to go through what he went through so that he could save my soul, so that he could save your soul. Yes, we know, we see what happened on the cross, but may I confess to you, we have no idea what our Lord went through. And I love this picture of his hand, God's hand, just reaching into the pit of hell. And for all of you who have received Lord Jesus Christ, this is you. This is you spiritually speaking. For eternity, I receive you, Lord Jesus. That's, that's God's hand reaching down and grabbing you and saying, you're mine. Amen. And go. You called upon the name above every name. You called upon Agape himself. The one and only perfect one. I called upon his name. And I know, I know that Lord Jesus Christ is perfect and that he saved me and every soul that would call out to his name. I know that Holy Spirit resides in every beloved child of God, of God that, that has, that has called out, that has called out to Lord Jesus Christ I know that Holy Spirit lives in every child that uttered the word, Lord Jesus Christ. I know. And I know now, amen, I know now, as the time approaches, as we're almost out of here, awaiting the King, I know that right now God is saying, go, amen, go to church, amen, go, right, go show, show yourself, right, show yourself, and isn't it beautiful? It's not up here, but I'm just going to share this because Holy Spirit said so. That the man that Lord Jesus Christ said, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Later on was found in the temple. And you know the temple from the pool of Bathsheba? You know how far that is? 14, almost 14 and a half miles. And you know this beloved son that this miracle took place in repentance not only did he receive the healing when he picked up his mat and he was validated through the only one that can validate, Lord Jesus Christ. Not only did he receive the healing, picked up his mat and walked, but what did he do? Go. And he did. He went straight to the temple. He went straight to the temple. And the glory of God is, is that God right now, Holy Spirit is charging us. Will we go, church? Listen, beloved, maybe there's some of you right now that I haven't even seen, and I, I, I pray that we get to meet in this vapor of a life. I pray. I pray that you come to Open Arms Community Church. Uh, I, maybe, you know, maybe you know some people that come here, but I pray that we come into this new season, this harvest of a season, <laughs> that we could put all of our differences aside. And because he's the only one worthy, that we could all just come. Amen, that we could all just come into worship together and, ju and, just, and just bless God, amen. And I know it's going to happen soon. I say it and I keep on saying it. And we're just going to keep on thanking God for it, amen. I pray that this message bless you. And above all, the Holy Spirit's anointing His presence is overflowing mightily, amen. Notice what God just said, above that, above the blessings, all God wants all agape wants is his presence to flow through you so that his light, his presence can flow over your beloved family. Amen. And I believe and declare that in Jesus' name, that every soul that has ears to hear the Holy Spirit's presence, I could feel his presence. I could feel his fire flowing, that you would just receive it. Say with me, come Holy Spirit. Say with me, I bless you. And I believe and declare in the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, 
The Holy Spirit right now is just flowing through you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, that you feel his fire within your chest and your whole house, your family is flooded. Not just those that are physically there in your room, but I'm talking about everyone. Whether they're across in another state, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because God is God Almighty. And glory to God, when we speak the word, let there be light, it does not come back dark. It comes back multiplied in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you receive that tonight? Hallelujah. I do. Praise God. God bless you guys. Love you so much, beloved church family. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Um, just a heads up, this Friday is supposed to be our, um, our first night of I Am Recovered. And it starts at 6 o'clock this, this Friday, I Am Recovered. And please, beloved church family, I love what Elder Charlie said after service on Sunday. This isn't a worship service just for people that have been on drugs or have struggled. It's not. It, this is just intimacy with God. And I'm so thankful that Holy Spirit led him to say that. And I'm going to keep echoing that because God just wants us to, to fellowship and be together. So it starts at 6, amen, and we'll be out of here by 8 o'clock. And praise God. And, and, and I pray that the weather is, is great. If not, you will hear from our elders, amen, and we will make sure that we uh, effectively communicate that to everyone, amen. Agape, you all, praise God. God is head over heels in love with you. Keep on blessing agape, amen, and just keep on loving one another. Hallelujah. Love you so much, beloved church family. God bless you guys. Be safe. Stay warm, amen. Love you. Mwah! Praise God. Hallelujah.